This is the good YouTuber iceberg. We'll start all the way up here with good YouTube channels you may already know, but soon we'll descend deeper and deeper until we reach good YouTube channels that don't even have a thousand subs or a hundred. Also, if you're a creator, you may want to stick around to the end of the video because I have a pretty unique opportunity for you. Scumbag Dad produces some of the most insanely planned and mind-bending shorts on the platform, often with chaotic twists. They also make wonderfully biting satire. By the way, links below to every channel I discussed today. I've also linked a playlist that'll take you through every channel I mention here. Captain Disillusion, I'm just gonna say it, makes the most polished series on YouTube. He's famous for debunking viral hoaxes and faked videos, but it's the way he does it that's so damn entertaining. With smart, comical storytelling and arguably the best special effects on the site. Lumpy Touch is a pixel art genius, and they're making interactive shorts in a way that no one else on YouTube's doing. Their work is as clever as it is hypnotic. Ranton makes quite possibly the most entertaining and anxiety-inducing video game reviews on the platform. Honestly, I had Aaron watch the first 10 seconds of one of his videos, and she immediately was like, ooh, can you turn this off? I don't like this. Personally, I love it. The energy in his editing is dizzying. More importantly, it's very funny. Mr. Mobile goes in the complete opposite direction. His bread and butter is tech reviews, usually phone reviews, but it's not just that his videos are beautifully shot and flow effortlessly. It's his witty, poetic wordplay that makes his videos as fun to listen to as they are to watch. And his When Phones Were Fun series is a loving tribute to all the feature phones and gimmicky phones that time forgot. Internet comment etiquette hasn't largely changed his style in over a decade, and thank God for that. Come for the stupidly good comments he leaves, and stay for the many cameos he employs. Hey, I know that soy boy. There I Ruined It makes funny music. That's it, they, they make funny music. I refuse to elaborate further, just please, God, watch them. And a little update here, they've recently had to privatize all their YouTube videos after receiving two strikes from Universal Music Group, but you can still see their work on TikTok. That's what I've been showing here. It's linked below, though I still recommend you subscribe to them on YouTube to show your support. Ekaterina makes shorts that follow such an addicting format. She shows you a really good close-up magic trick and then shows you how it's done. Her calm, easy to follow and instructions and presentation are a lovely antidote to the Mr. Beastification of YouTube. It's like the polar opposite of I just ate one million dollars worth of solid gold to see what it would do to my tum tum. Um, just elegance and class and hey she was on Penn and Teller's Fool Us so you know she's good. Lil Curbs is the world's best Mario Maker player. They play levels that are so goddamn complicated and confusing to follow that they frequently slow down the video to show you what they're doing. And I don't think you have to be a Mario fan to enjoy these. I don't know, maybe you do, who cares? Man Carrying Thing is the current king of bite-sized relatable comedy. Just about every video is under a minute long, but they're still widescreen, as the good lord intended. Almost Friday TV makes such well-produced comedy that they look more like short films than sketches. They're truly the SNL digital shorts of YouTube, which is funny because SNL digital shorts was them trying to be YouTube. Skycorp Home Video makes 90s style comedy that looks like it was ripped straight from a VHS tape. And that's because it is. Before they upload a YouTube video, they burn it onto a DVD, record that on a VHS tape, then capture that footage to a hard drive, resulting in a nostalgic aesthetic that you just can't fake. And it really doesn't hurt that their stuff's pretty funny. Before I continue, this video is sponsored by an awesome sponsor, Delete Me. And I can honestly say I've been using Delete Me before they ever approached me as a sponsor. As you may know, we had a creepy, scary incident happen to us in October, and I was desperate to remove info like my address from data brokers. So I soon made a Delete Me account, and within 24 hours, my personal information was actively being removed from various public records. And this all happened automatically. 
In fact, Delete.me will tell you how much time they saved you in their reports. And by the way, that's an accurate estimate. Before I even heard about Delete.me, I was personally trying to remove my info from directories one at a time. Something I'd still be doing now if it weren't for Delete.me. Best of all, their privacy experts remove you from hundreds of data brokers all year long. So yes, this video is sponsored, but I also want to mention that I personally vouch for Delete Me. It works, it's effective, it's thorough. And right now, they have a great deal for you. Go to joindeleteme.com slash jack20, link below, and use code jack20 to get 20% off all consumer plans. Thanks to Delete Me for sponsoring this video. Go check them out and protect yourself today. Wizards with Guns is, pound for pound, the funniest sketch comedy channel on YouTube today, at least to me. I don't know if I should recommend this video, this video, or this video first. They all make me laugh hard enough to scare my dogs. Value Select has been cranking out these catchy, fast-paced original songs on shorts, and I just don't see a lot of hyper-edited and stylized music videos in this format. And their sketches, much like their music videos, have a bouncy, always moving rhythm. Dr. Skipper specializes in video essays, and it's their frantic editing that earns him a spot on this list. Doesn't matter if the video's 40 minutes long, it's edited in a way that dares you to click away. And you won't be able to because the memes come fast and furious. What a feat. Sick Animation is a legendary channel that has the honor of being the least predictable storyteller. Once you start any of their many cartoons, try to guess where the plot is going. You will always be wrong. Bobby Fingers just might be the best hidden gem on YouTube. Seriously, get in now before he gets a million subs. It will happen. His videos typically start off with him sculpting a celebrity's face, and then they take a hard turn. I won't spoil it for you because it's impossible to spoil. I genuinely cannot describe what exactly he does. That is how unique and wonderful his channel is. Wait, is that Penn from Penn and Teller? Didn't, didn't we just see him? Tony Zaret is even harder to describe than Bobby Fingers. Explaining what he does would be like explaining the joke. He's not for everyone, but boy is he for me. And he might be for you if you like your humor with a truckload of irony. Dime Store Adventures is like a fun history channel. I've been a fan of their storytelling since this video from last year, an interactive recount of a grueling roller skate marathon race from 1885. And since then, they've been busy, with both 10 minute plus stories and bite sized shorts equally as fun. No one's doing it like Dime Store Adventures. Reloxard is a YouTube poop genius. And it's tough to find good YouTube poops these days, but in the world of shit posting, this channel is top tier. Razor sharp editing. Blink and you miss it gags, I am a very big fan. Casually Overcomplicated is a channel I'm including just for one video, and that video is Morshu Reads the Entire Bible, No AI, a three day long video that somehow stretches the two lines of dialogue this video game character has into the whole Bible. It's everything great about YouTube in one video. Its mere existence brings me much joy. RSK is, in my opinion, the YouTuber to watch out for in the coming year. You may not know them yet, but I think you're gonna. In their charming story time slash video essay, they combine highly imaginative live action with freaking animated bits. It's not fair, dude. Pick a lane. You can't be good at both. You know what? Don't subscribe to them. They don't deserve it. Trickle Bickle only has two shorts to their name. And you know what? They're perfect. <laughs> They're proof that YouTube poops don't have to be flashy and complicated to be effectively funny. Just well-written and well-timed. 
Now those last two channels I mentioned, I actually discovered them over on my other channel, Judge Jack's Films, where we aim to highlight smaller creators and get them noticed. And if you're a creator trying to get noticed, boy, do I have a challenge for you. The challenge is simple. Make a 10 second long video or shorter, and if it makes me laugh, you win $100. But I never laugh. And if you fail, I get to leave a nasty comment on your video. Want to give it a shot? Fill out the form that I've linked in the description below. The deadline to enter is Wednesday, December 6th, and a marathon live stream will follow soon after. Good luck!